LAPD SAY THEY SHOT CHRISTOPHER REDDING AFTER HE SHOT SERGEANT RICK STELTLER AT AN APARTMENT COMPLEX IN HOLDEN HEIGHTS. DEPUTY STELTLER WAS HIT SEVERAL TIMES BUT IS EXPECTED TO BE OKAY. INVESTIGATORS THINK REDDING WAS PART OF A TEAM OF THIEVES STEALING PURSES AND THROWING WOMEN TO THE GROUND. ERIC SANDOVAL SPOKE TO ONE OF HIS VICTIMS TONIGHT. HE IS LIVE AT ORLANDO REGIONAL MEDICAL CENTER. ERIC. Yeah, Lisa, this is actually where Sergeant Stelter is recovering tonight. It is also the same hospital that 80-year-old Nancy Horton was brought to after she says that she was assaulted and robbed by the uh, suspect in this case. Tonight, she tells us she is on the mend, but she is questioning why he was allowed out on the streets in the first place. It's just, um, I guess, a wicked world. Nancy Horton says that was her reaction today when she turned on the news and saw that the man wanted for robbing and severely injuring her had been shot and killed by Orange County Sheriff's deputies. Investigators say they were trying to arrest 20-year-old Christopher Redding this morning when he pulled out a gun and shot Sergeant Rick Stelter. Four other deputies shot back, killing Redding. They say Redding was the man who snuck up on Horton here in the parking lot of Macy's at Mall at Millennia last month, grabbed her purse and knocked her to the ground. I was on the floor, on the ground, between my car and the car next to me. My shoulder was dislocated, fractured in normal numerous places. So did you get a good look at who the guys were? I did were? not see him, no. But investigators say surveillance cameras did see him. Redding was identified as her attacker. Investigators say he also robbed women in parking lots at the Grove in Windermere and at Florida Mall. Redding was arrested on those two cases. Deputies were trying to arrest him today on Horton's case. Tonight, she is still recovering from her injuries. Actually yeah. never stopped hurting. <laughs> this shoulder was dislocated, fractured at the point they had to put in artificial bones. And she says she has a message for the three others that are also implicated in those robberies. Go work like everybody else. Mm -hmm. Stop targeting the elderly. We don't deserve it, right? Mm -hmm. Now, doctors tell Horton that she'll likely never regain full use of her shoulder again. Now, as for the other suspects implicated in those uh, purse snatchings, I checked the jail website tonight. Two of them are still in jail. A third has already posted his bond. All of them face very serious felony charges tonight. We are live at Orlando Regional Medical Center. Eric Sandoval, News 6. Lisa? Eric, thank you.